everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker shopping time. Winter is coming, and not just to quote Game of Thrones, but for real. So, as most of you know who follow me on Super Deco Instagram, uh, all spelled together, the Super Deco all spelled together, not the Instagram, I, uh, I love sneakers. And let's say 99% of the time I wear sneakers, but... Since summer was so hot, I have a sneaky suspicion winter is going to be gruesome and cold. So I'm kind of looking into shoes. And I've been um, thinking about a particular model of shoes half a year now, but I couldn't really hunt them down. And I didn't want to order them online because I don't like to send stuff back if it doesn't fit. So I was waiting for this particular store to get them in stock. And they did. And I'm going to do an unboxing today of the Doc Martens. Uh, love my ducks. Doc Martens shoes. Uh, they gave me this beautiful little bag and inside, so I'm, I'm thinking about winter basically and they're, they kind of arrived in the right time because it's getting cold. Um, that's the box. The model is the 3989 Brogue Bex. Now we're going to get into all these details. Let me just come in close and show you this um, picture. Okay, I hope you could see that. So you could screenshot shot it uh, if you want to know the sizings and the codes and what, what have you. So um, this is a, a, four, a European 42, a UK 8, US 9 for men or US 10 for women. It is a unisex shoe. I also purchased inlays, extra inlays in another store, not through Doc Martens, um, just because, well, two reasons. I want to keep warm. These The inlays that I purchased are also kind of extra warm, but also because this model does not offer half sizes. It doesn't offer half sizes, and the full sizes it has, well, it's a bit tricky. The 41 was so small that my toe would just like hit the front. It just doesn't work. And the 42, which is what I got in the end, is slightly too big. So the in-between would have been perfect. It just doesn't exist. Um, let me unroll it. This is one of them. And throw the box in the front. Okay. So this is how they look like. The sole is quite thick. Um, they have their famous Doc Martens oil, fat, acid, petrol, alkali resistant soles. Uh, they're made in Vietnam, I think. They might, they they're might, they're made in Vietnam. They are, them is, them is made in Vietnam. Um, uh, I guess Doc Martens exists since the sixties. This leather can be highly polished if you want to. It's called the smooth leather, but if you want to kind of use it and abuse it and let it get that scruff all over it, they're going to look amazing even more that way in my personal opinion. So I'm not going to be polishing them. I'm going to be wearing them, rocking them and making them look used and abused in a way, as we love them. The shape that inspired me, uh, why did I, this is actually my first pair of Doc Martens, I think, ever. And uh, it's, I wanted to hunt down the high boot that Jean-Paul Gaultier made with um, Doc Martens. Oh, gosh, it's over 10 years ago now, I guess. But I didn't manage to find the one I wanted. They only had the low cut boots, I didn't want those. So this would be the model that I, that I really, really fell in love with. They look like children's shoes in a, in a way. Um, they also look slightly clown-esque. Um, they're very heavy, very chunky. The thick sole is amazing. Uh, it, it fits Super D to a T. So, um, while I'm preparing to read to you a little text that Doc Martens gives us with these shoes, let's roll the video of me wearing them. Ha! Huh. Uh, basically, you could see how they look on foot. I kind of paired it up with black and white everything because the shoe is black and white the socks are black and white even the pants that i'm wearing from y3 uh have the three white stripes on black pants on one side and then they're black stripes three black stripes on the other side on, on the other foot on the other leg the socks are also y3 also black and white um as you can see they're chunky they're big now you don't really see me walking here it's just for the fit but they are white because they're new there i'm lifting the pants to show you how it looks with the socks 
They're so stiff at the moment. They're so hard on the foot. It's kind of painful to wear them, but I have been warned that they do get soft with time. They do adapt to the shape of the foot and they will be extremely comfortable once you break them in. That magical word that we use for a lot of shoes is like, you gotta break it in first and then it becomes comfortable as a glove. Little do people know, y'all so got to break in to gloves because a lot of the gloves are also not a good thing. Here is the little leaflet that comes with the shoe, and it's interesting to read it, uh, just in case anybody's interested. I usually am. Smooth leather, which is this upper. The upper is smooth leather. If there is one leather that epitomizes Dr. Martin's footwear, it's our classic smooth leather. Durable and famously stiff to start with. <laughs> Uh, it molds to your feet and gets more comfortable with wear. Smooth leather can be polished to a dapper shine or artfully scuffed up, depending on your preference. Well, thank you for the information, Doc Martens. Um, loving the brogues. What are they called again? Let me pick up the box again that I threw down. Brogue Becks. Okay, off you go again. That's that. If you wish to see a full look of me wearing it kind of with this sweater, the pants and the shoes all together, uh, the total look is available on my Instagram. Super Deca Ball spelled together. So you could check out how it looks there with more details of the shoes as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have found my winter shoe. Believe it or not, I don't really have winter shoes. I have a lot of sneakers, but not really winter shoes. I might have a pair of boots, but like this is my winter shoe. Uh... To be worn until the end of days thank you guys so much for watching let me know what your winter shoes are and if you like these in particular uh, so thumb up this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on youtube i'm also on instagram facebook and twitter and for those of you who wish to join my workshop on social media film and video editing for youtube and not just youtube 17th and 18th of november this year uh, I will be giving a two-day workshop. It's a Saturday and a Sunday in Berlin, Germany, in the Editing and Film Academy of the city. It's going to be super exciting. There are still limited spaces available. All the information you need to join the workshop are in the description box under this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in Berlin. Love ya. Bye. Mwah.